welcome to everyone watching this video today. This video is another Church Community Project Teasers uh, video. And let me say, Cycling Club, similar to some of the other clubs that we've mentioned on this YouTube ministry channel. It involves obviously people bringing their bikes, maybe digging them out of their sheds, their garages, and wherever people may store their bikes. It involves a coming together of individuals of varying abilities, varying equipment of bikes, and maybe, first and foremost, if you've got the skill, the ability to check over general maintenance of the bikes. Now, in this day and age, YouTube channels will show you how to generally check over a bike. The chains, the oiling, etc. Checking that your brakes work before you jump on it and start to ride it, etc. etc. The importance of high visibility, um, helmet, and safety equipment if you're going out onto the local roads or even if you're going into local parklands. Now, the importance of a cycling group it's much safer and much more enjoyable, we could say, to cycle as a group. So to meet together, to maybe have a coffee beforehand, maybe finish off with a coffee, to cycle around the local environment, the local place where people live. Again, like similar groups that we've mentioned before, it's a presence in locality. It's a group of uh, individuals coming together just collectively over the interest of a bike. Now we saw these projects previously um, very minutely. We saw a cycling project start with about five cyclists. It developed into about 20 cyclists and then it started after I uh, exited this project in particular. It started to partner with the local councils and it became a cycling initiative that birthed out of that initial coming together. It started to uh, create activists that were um, keen on cycle paths and cycle routes and they became invested in actually promoting such things not to the uh, detriment of the driver or the pedestrian, but in, in order to coincide with local parkland and have suitable um, uh, footpaths and suitable cycling lanes that were all designated and split purpose in the locality. So it was a real advantageous um, cycling group that actually uh, maintained the uh, distinctiveness of the pedestrian, the cyclist and other users. So you weren't uh, walking down a path with a, a bicycle bombing past you and all those things, all the horror stories that you hear of such. So it started off very small. It morphed into something quite spectacular. As I say, with me exiting, but I saw the development and the growth of something that I literally just set off and watched grow. Easy to do. Watch those YouTube uh, videos, get someone who knows a little something about fitting a chain, oiling a chain, checking brakes, very simple things, fitting lights to a bike, a bell, um, high-vis gear and a helmet and you're away. There's also funds available if you want to link with local stakeholders. Um, Organisations such as the local councils will give bikes and provide them for certain projects. The payback schemes of the local police, they will actually provide funds for a safer environment and getting people out. Healthy living funds and then just generally people who may have the equipment knocking around in their sheds, their garages, etc. Why not publicise, get these enthusiasts or these um, people that want to learn more and grow more together as a group, bring them together, the expertise of one and the uh, novice inquirer, bring them together, join the dots. 
and see how God can use that relational evangelism to bring many to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and the gospel. Uh, I hope this is uh, informative. Check out the about section of the um, video, this YouTube ministry, if you'd like to know more. Do get in touch and please do comment, like and share these videos widely. Let's get bikes up and running, back into use, oiled up and ready to journey. God bless you all. Amen.